A couple weeks ago, we built up our first gap jump on the new jump line that I am officially calling Cedar Brapids. This line will run through a patch of cedar trees and pump track its way all the way back up to the start. In this video, we'll be working on the pump track section. I'll take you through the process of making a roller using something called laminated wood bending, and we'll go over the various types of rollers and how you can apply them to your very own trail. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys exactly what I'm doing. We're cutting individual slits. The reason we're doing this is because we're gonna bend this thing. So what we'll do is we'll cut a buttload of these guys and then we'll go through, apply some really good glue to each side of it. And then we're just gonna smash them together on a form that I'm gonna make that will be the perfect radius for a roller that I want. So yeah, let's just cut a buttload of these little things first. Here we go. So what is a roller? These are rollers, the little mounds of dirt. These are also rollers. And this is a roller coaster with a roller. Rollers allow you to gain speed without pedaling. That's why our guy here could literally go forever in a circle without pedaling if he had the endurance. Thinking simply, rollers essentially have two parts. Troughs, which are the dips below the dotted line, and crests, which are the mounds above the dotted line. We can also think of rollers as a bunch of circles. Keep this in mind as we go into the next part of our build. What we're gonna do right here is we're gonna draw two radiuses of a circle. For my roller, the perfect circle is gonna be a six and a half foot radius. So I'm gonna take these trammel points, which are really nifty, I haven't used them yet, but you just attach these to any board that you have or whatnot to draw giant circles if you need to. While this dries, let me explain the different types of rollers. When you're deciding on how to shape your roller, it helps to think in ratios. The roller you're looking at is a one to one ratio. This means the crests are the same size as the troughs. This makes for a very smooth ride, great for holding speed and great for beginners. But maybe you want something that helps generate speed better and is still pretty smooth. That's going to be a three to two ratio, meaning our mix is three parts trough and two parts crests. This is still a great roller for beginners and experts alike, and it helps generate speed a bit more than the one to one ratio. As we near a two to one ratio, things start to get a little disruptive at speed, unless you're an expert pump track rider. A two to one ratio is great for having a jumpy roller that can either be rolled or jumped pretty easily, but isn't very smooth to ride. Any ratio higher than two to one is generally just for jumping. So unless that's what you're going for, steer clear of anything higher than two to one. But I'm really excited to undo this thing. I uh, am supposed to wait 24 hours, but it's hour 21. Don't tell anybody. It's uh, yeah, we're just gonna undo it. It worked. It stayed all put together. It's keeping its bend. Check her out. Perfect bend, it's all holding, it's pretty light, but it's also, it feels very structurally sound. I think this is gonna work really, really well. For our roller, we'll need three more of these. So let's get another one glued and dry.
now that we had one side done, all we had to do was do it all over again. Eventually this will be connected to a whole pump track, but for now, I brought in a jump to play around on. Fire Hoops, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and maybe check out my Patreon while you're at it. New shirts are also available, so get them while they're still in stock. For next week, should we add to this pump track or maybe learn a new skill? Let me know in the comments, and until then, I'll see you at the next build. <laughs>